Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Libra for love and relationship for the month of October Libra, it looks to me that you are pushing someone away. You wanted this person so much, so badly, but you feel like, no, there is no more. I get here you are pushing a person because they haven't been really progressing with you. It's like you had a deal or you had a deal. You had a deal with someone that you want really to get married to each other from the beginning and you agreed on it, but this person haven't been really moving things fast or to do... There is something about a package or marriage package or something that you want it like, you know, a marriage license. Or somebody like, you know, you want it like you know, to get really a marriage license, but it hasn't been really doing it or working for you. I get here this person that you feel, they feel like, you know, that they need to walk away from you because there is so much struggle and drama and they want it. They give you time to change everything, but it hasn't been working. Too much drama, fight, argument. And you feel like you know, that there was interference. That's why things haven't been progressing. You were yelling at your person because there was a third party that you felt like you know, that person was interfering with your life, and it was. And it's not really like you no know, joke. You know, there is a person like you know, that they were coming onto your person and want really to be with them which is your person left this person behind before a long time ago in the past. They don't want anything to do with them. But you felt like you know, that this person from their past haven't been changing their direction and they want your person and they kept really coming. And I get here you felt like you know, that your person might, might be cheating on you or something. It wasn't really cheating actually from your person, but it looks here that you couldn't stand the challenge. You could not really like to feel like that you can win the challenge or the battle between your person and their exes. You know what I mean? And you felt like that it's really too much chaos and you don't really want to deal with it yourself too. Your person wants to walk away now. They don't want to progress anything because they are afraid nothing is going to change. You feel like that you don't want to progress also because you don't really trust the, the person that you are with. Even though that you still up and down, back and forth about your person. Are they doing this? Are, are they not doing it? But it's not working really eventually for you. You can't find like, no, it is really over for you. The other person say the same thing. And you keep really like, you know, going through your lessons more and more. Every time you learn that lesson, you feel like, you know, it's not really working again. You kind of like, you know, in a mess. I see, like, you know, that your relationship in the past years ago, like, you know, with someone else, like, you know, that you left long time ago, it has been really, like, you know, weird also. It hasn't been working. And I get here, you find yourself, like, you, know, you don't want to deal with the relationships at all. Suddenly you meet with a new love, you feel the power of love and everything is working, but you are not getting along with that person since a while, like you know, maybe the whole year, you feel that this person is not changing anything. And it says here that you want things to change. You need to change yourself. You know, I hear that statement, but it's true. And um, like, you know, you have to be really like you know, more strong and powerful for you to feel the, that power. Push away what hurt you in the past. Become like you know, more in control or confident. Like, you know, you care about others, like, you know, even if there is a woman, 
passing by from from in front of your uh, person and wink at him or her like you no know, and you are kind of like feeling irritated and you fall apart already like you no know, immediately you cannot really just fighting and jumping into things because an outsider came to your person your person is not into that person why you are like you know encouraging this more declining yourself already feeling down on yourself because someone else say hello or wink their eye to your person a lot of people do that they are bad people they shouldn't but in the same time you should not fall apart for it that's the the, the main thing you should you should not really like you know get afraid of maybe your looks the way you dress the way you like you know your home is uh, the way like you know your your stuff is like you know fear is killing the whole love and romance and the confidence in yourself believe in you because you haven't been believing in you for a long time you are coming to that sense because i get here that you are trying to lift your spirit up like you know a little bit here because you're still up and down about it you're trying to lift your spirit up like you know, to feel really like you no know, more confident and more positive but rather other than that you choose another person to be really making you feel good about you. Well, if you want to be really doing this over and over, you're going to repeat the same pattern over and over and you feel like, okay, none of my relationships worked. It's really best to work on you. Because you let like, you know, other people like, you know, like, like a little bit of like, you know, really very thin hair or line just to make you fall, fall apart you know libra is supposed to be like you know really very strong and powerful people and you are kind of like you know you have been really weak for a long time you are letting this happen to you you are you let other people step on your back or hurt you and you fall apart like you know, to it very easily you haven't been applying your strength be strong this is the message like you know, really for you right now you need to be strong even a person like you no know, talk to your person and you shouldn't really fall apart immediately to it be strong when you be you becoming strong and say you know what i'm not gonna let this get to me you win and you don't have to jump to another relationship another relationship because if you keep doing this you're gonna fall with the same mistakes over and over because you drain yourself to the zero and you feel like you no know, other people may be like better than you but they are not A lot of accusations on your part like you know, to your person here and it says here that you need to stop pointing your finger on other people and see where is the mistake within you because you kind of like you no know, ir irritable very fast very quick make people like you know, get to you and you should be powerful and push away another woman from the picture or another male from the picture if you are male like you no know, you cannot be just like in a week oh my person looked at another person oh my god i'm falling apart you know the relationship is over my person is cheating ah, i love that you know you need to be really like you know, just stronger and face reality because sometimes like you know it's not really someone walk walk in the front there is that internet everybody chatting there is that tv everybody looking at tv you want to feel irritable every time like you see half naked woman or something like that you cannot be that way have the strength and the power within you for you to continue or face relationships other than that you should be single i'm sorry i'm not trying to be really like you no know, mean to you but the message coming from this reading is the one who's being trying to make you so strong and tough and powerful and instead of getting weak and say oh that's it I'm done. My person tell me 1,000 times, I know they love me and I'm the one and they want to be with me. But no, one of his exes say, hey, I need to leave because my person is cheating. You cannot do that. If your person choose you, why you let the other person win and give them the power and the control and the luck? You are really taking your luck away. Anyway, I get here that you are trying to be really free, but for some of you, you are trying to free yourself from all of this really, like, you know, really bad feelings about yourself. And there is a turn to the better with communications level. And it says here, your person always meant good for you. 
their intention was really very good. And it says here, it ended with someone from their past. They don't want to deal with them. But right now they want to end things with you because they want their freedom because you are not changing and you keep really fighting. Like for example, my handwriting is really very bad. And everybody, as you say, everybody making fun of my handwriting, everybody doing and, and you are crying. Well, work on your handwriting, fix it. Make it like you look better. No one will be really like you looking at it, but you cannot just sit there and cry because everybody like you know, look at your handwriting not good. So you need to be really working on you. Your happiness, your confidence, your positive, you know, your strength. Not to let other people get to you. And you will be much happier rather than this mess. You feel like you know, sometimes you want to walk away from relationships, period. Because you keep being disappointed. It says here, other people disappoint you. I can agree with you, there are bad people who done you wrong. But you let them get to you. You don't know how to fix the relationship. You run away from it. Rather than face it and fix it. You are not facing reality. You say, okay, that's it. My person looked at the other person, twisted their neck like that. I'm leaving. You cannot do that. That's destroying you. You are destroying yourself by letting other people get to you. How many times I need to say that? Because they keep repeating it in the reading here. It says here, you want to be happy? You mean to be happy. But your ego stands in the way every single time. No, you talk to this person. Even if you are happy at this time and your person is doing really so good to you. No, what about the other person? They talked to them like you know, a year ago. Let go of your ego. This comes as an ego also. Your ego in the way. Let it go. It says here that your person say it's not the right timing. Perhaps I need to decline this relationship because I it's not the right timing. The time is not right for me to be really happy because I don't know what where Libra is coming from. And you feel like you know, really so much really negative at this time and you feel like, you know, okay, this relationship has been toxic. Your person is trying really very hard for a long time, but you don't see it. You are not looking at it because sometimes you are looking like you know, really at the cup, half empty instead of half full. And I get here, you keep crying, you keep worrying, you keep being unhappy. You get mad, you get angry because you want to have the control or the upper hand, but it's not really working eventually for you. And it says here that, you have been really stressing to change things. And I get here at the end, you work so hard. At the end, you are confused. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I should have done that make things work. I don't know why I have been really like, you know, going in bad relationships lately. You know, it's not really like, you know, this year, last year also and the year before. Because you need not to let other people get to you. You have to look at the bright side. Don't be jealous of other people have more money than you. Or a better house than you. Or a better furniture than you. You have to be like you know, really being feeling like you know, being blessed at this time. And I get here you get your wish. For some of you who have a new relationship here. I get here it's really working eventually. But mostly what you need to really work on only your jealousy. If you let go of your jealousy, hate or control. Or try to make a person like you know, to force them to change to your level. This is when you face also like no problems. Because when you meet with the person, their habit is different. Um, you love them and there is that heart and soul and ener energy between you two. But it's making you feel like you know, sometimes later like you, know, you feel like, you know, okay, my person eat, he have a, a, an eating disorder. Or he or she like you know, dress differently or something. I want to change that. And you push them so much to change. And when you want these changes to happen really very quick, very fast for you, you struggle. It's like you have a struggle with your person, the way they are, the way they talk, the way they speak, the way you do things. And this is making you like you know, unhappy. 
just like you know have give your person and their freedom to do whatever they want i'm not saying that you know just to go and cheat on you no that's not really okay at all nobody accept this if they want if someone wants to be with someone they should not cheat anyway i'm talking about like you know really their habits the way they are the way they like dislike leave them be don't make comments because you can end up with a struggle but the struggle like you know it's not making both of you happy Dear Libra, I hope you enjoy the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. The link for my website is below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.